around 24 miles or 39 kilometers east of Sila City, in Patli Union, is Rasul Gondi Bazar, an old market famous for selling animals, especially cows and goats. Rasul Gondi borders Chatok Upazjala and Jagannathpur Upazjala and is short distance away from Jagannathpur municipality of Purushaba and Vishwanath. We'll be taking a CNG from Bobby Bazaar, known locally as Bor Bazaar, in Ishakpur, and we'll travel along Jogonathpur Road towards Bor Kapon and turning left towards Rasulganj. The CNG will be local and not reserved, so any passengers can get a lift on the way. As we turned left into Borkapon, the journey was mesmerizing. Undulating road, orange reddish soil, and the beautiful greenery of Bangladesh's village landscape made my soul warm. Subhanallah.
Approaching the market, we saw hundreds of small lorries which had imported the animals from different districts of the country. Alongside them were tom-toms and CNGs ready to take customers back to their homes. After 20 minutes, we reached the famous Rasul Gonj Bazaar. The ride cost us 25 taka each, which is less than 20 pence in UK. Rasul Gonj Bazaar has been going on for many decades and is increasing in size, number of customers, and ultimately, price of product. It was once known as Pran Kendro or the Soul Center of Sunam Gunj. It's different from other markets as it opens in the morning while others open late afternoon. The busiest day is Friday, especially after Juma prayer, as it's the only day when the cattle come to the market. Hence why we've come today on Friday. And though Russell Gunj Bazaar is famous for selling cattle and goats, they also sell chicken, fish and vegetables. There's something for everyone even handmade furniture. Bit of a crazy place, uh, incredible, very raw and uh, very original and uh, so many decades old as well, it's incredible. Um, it's quite overpowering and quite intense if you've not come here. Um, it's amazing, I absolutely stunned.
Within the cow and gold section, big businessmen buy out a patch of spot for traders and independent sellers to hire and showcase the animal. Behind me is where they do the selling, um, they own this piece of land, so they do selling this. Salam, brother. Your name is Abdullah. 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 ও দলে গোত্র গরিব দো এন্তে তারা তোরা কনসিডার হলে না আপনারা এখানে তোরা কনসিডার হলো না আর ইনো প্রতি শুক্রবার এখানে মানে বাজার হয় না নি প্রতি শুক্রবার ফল শুক্রবার কোন দিকে আরম্ভ কতটা সময় আরম্ভ হয় দশটা থেকে আরম্ভ হয় যায় বিয়ার দশটা সময় আর সাইটা পর্যন্ত জুম্মা বাদে একটু জুম্মা বাদে তোরা একটু চলে আচ্ছা তার মানে দেইলো কত কত কিতা 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 ব্যবসা হয় কিতা তো কইতা বানি এটা তো সব দিন সমান হয় না সব সময় সমান হয় দুই লাখ হয় थैंक Um, what do I think about this market? Obviously, it's a very ancient one, and it's a very old experience, and uh, it's been going on for decades. But some of the practices can seem a little bit harsh. Um, looking at some of the animals and the way they're kept, um, you know, there, there doesn't seem to be much consideration for them as well. So, you know, from it can be a little bit questionable from an animal, animal right perspective. And even from, probably from a hygiene perspective, it is a fascinating market. Um, but I guess the approaches can be a little bit more, little bit more better. Um, I guess, um, yeah, it does seem a bit cruel where some of these animals have been kept as well. So, but what can you do? Um, it's an ancient practice, um, and people are still maintaining it.
We walked 100 meters away from the organized chaos of the animal market to the vegetable and spice section. Oddly, this had a quiet life of its own. The vegetables were some of the biggest and freshest I had seen. Maybe it was a calming effect of the big, fresh, green and coloured vegetables that surrounded us. But you could breathe in this small space, unlike the vibrancy of the large animal section. There was a supari and pan ali next to the vegetable market. Supari, known also as gua in Sila division, is an areca nut or beetle nut which is wrapped up using pan leaf and eaten as a snack. It's very popular in the Asian subcontinent. <laughs> There were all sorts of shops ranging from small stores to mini markets and banks. The houses were incredibly ornate and classical, indicating the area was once the resident of the rich with a taste for the better things in life.
So we are at Laukala point. Uh, this is a point where it connects Vishnath in one direction, Satok in another direction, and Jagannathpur in another direction. This, so this, this here is the central point or central junction for all these three tunnels all together. At Lautala Point is an ancient Kadamba tree known as Kodumgas in Bangla. It's a large tropical tree with umbrella shaped crown and medicinal properties and strong religious significance to the Hindu religion specially. There's a mini statue of Hindu god Sri Sri Kalachanji, literally translated as the beautiful moon faced one, which has been here since 1979. Hindu men and women devotees come here, pray silently and get the blessings from him. Put it 
টাকা পয়সা নারী ভাইলে আল্লাহ না দিয়ে যাবে এই দেখ মারি হে গেছে ইউরান গান যা কুর সাকি বাগিয়ে সারে আমারে তারা সাজে সুর বাইরে তারা সাজে সুর সারা দিন নিশা গাইয়া বেহোশ হইয়া রাস্তা দে ঘুমাই বাইরে রাস্তা দে ঘুমাই It was Friday and it was nearly time for Jummah prayer. So my cousin and I headed towards Rasul Gan Bazaar's Jame Masjid, an Islamic religious complex inside the bazaar. It was big and pretty. Outside the main entrance was a group of beggars, some deformed. This sadly is a common sight in many of Bangladesh's big and prominent mosque and religious complex, especially on a Friday. Inside the complex you can do wudu or ablution either in the fukur or pond or a large designated wudu area where shippers pack the mosque Once the imam or leader had finished giving his social religious sermon the congregation stood up and chanted Ya Nabi Salam Alaika which means O Prophet peace be upon you This was a greeting which the companions of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him would sometimes say when they saw him but they did this in the prophet's presence and not behind his back However a small section of the Muslim community continued to give this salutation believing Prophet Muhammad hears them and visits their gatherings It's widely agreed among many Muslim scholars that this is an innovation or bidah and not to be practiced but some still do it and this masjid was one of them Both my cousin and I were shocked to see this as we had never experienced this before feeling uncomfortable we didn't sing along and watched silently as the whole masjid vibrated with the passionate chants Allah knows best Fun experience playing in here. It's slightly different than normal. Rasul Gonj, as I mentioned, is a fascinating place. But the issue is, it's a very old-style market with old-style mentality. So there's hardly any women within this uh, within this market. It's all predominantly men. Um, well, it's all men in all fact. And the way the conversation, everything is very old style. Uh, so there's a lot of fun banter, which is incredible. Um, it's very very clustered. Um, so if you do suffer from uh, prostophobia, I probably wouldn't suggest it. It can be a little bit overpowering, and like I said, the treatment of the animal can you know is quite questionable. Uh, but ultimately, it's an amazing experience, and I de- definitely do recommend everyone at least come to it. The surrounding area around it is fascinating as well, and the journey, especially from Bobil Bazaar to the um, actual bazaar, is uh, Rasul Gan Bazaar, is is absolutely stunning. Um, like I said, it can be a very overpowering place. Um, so do you consider that when you do when you are coming? But yeah, I mean it's 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 very authentic, very raw, very old style in so many ways. Anyway, take care. I love this.
MEMORI KITA